good morning, Ebenezer family and friends. As we begin today's devotional, I would like to start with a question. Of all the qualities you look for in a person, what quality do you value most? Now, another way I could ask that question that might even be easier for you to answer is this. What quality do you, you first uh, notice and miss most in someone when it's absent? Our daily promise today speaks of two of God's character qualities. One that I think, it, if we stop to ponder more deeply, would be uh, the, the character quality that we value most in God, and the one that we would notice immediately if it was absent. And they are the qualities of mercy and grace. Psalm 103 verse 8 says this, The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abundant in loving kindness. God is declaring that He is full of mercy and grace and overflowing with love. And that's His promise to us. God's promise to us is that He is full of mercy and grace and overflows with love. That's just not what He does or how He acts towards us. It's, it's, it's who God is. Everything He does is motivated by His eternal, unending kindness and grace to us. But sadly, that's not how everyone views God the Father. If we were to walk along the streets of Saskatoon and take an informal poll asking, who is God? We'd hear different things, I'm sure. We'd hear things like, he's harsh, uh, vindictive, unfair, distant, angry, heavy-handed, mean-spirited. Now, there are reasons for this. Some people have had a bad example of an earthly father, and they wrongly pass those traits on to God the Father and view God as a distant and angry dad. Some people have been deceived by the God of this world, Satan, and have been led to believe that God is a heavy-handed, hard-hearted taskmaster who's ready to pounce on us for any mistake that we make. A third reason, though, is because we know ourselves. We know the parts of our lives that require extra grace. And we know that we don't always extend that grace to others in our lives. We just assume that God treats us and others the same way as we treat people. But thankfully, God is not like us, nor is He a poor example of a father. Our God and Father is good, and He's full of mercy and grace. He leads with mercy and grace. It's His dominant characteristic, and I'm glad He does, because we all need God's uh, fullness of, of His grace. We need the full measure of God's mercy and grace in our lives, don't we? You know, back in my college days, there was a hymn that we used to sing that raised the roof in the Bible school I attended. And when I first started attending Ebenezer, it was a song that raised the roof in this church too. Now, some of you will know this hymn, and some of you that are younger probably won't, but I just want to read these words to you. It's called, uh, Wonderful Grace of Jesus. And this is what it says. Wonderful Grace of Jesus, greater than all my sin. How shall my tongue describe it? Where shall my praise begin? Taking away my burden, setting my spirit free, oh, the wonderful grace of Jesus reaches me. And then the chorus went, wonderful the matchless grace of Jesus, deeper than the mighty rolling seas, higher than the mountains, sparkling like a fountain, all sufficient grace for even me, broader than the scope of my transgressions, greater far than all my sin and shame, oh, magnify the precious name of Jesus, praise his name. Second verse says, Wonderful grace of Jesus, reaching to all the lost. By it I have been pardoned, saved to the uttermost. Chains have been torn asunder, giving me liberty. Oh, the wonderful grace of Jesus reaches me. The next verse, Wonderful grace of Jesus, reaching the most defiled. By its transforming power, making me God's dear child. Purchasing peace in heaven for all eternity. And the wonderful grace of Jesus reaches me. Now, why do we like that song so much? Well, I think it's because uh, we know that we need God's mercy and grace. And when God's mercy and grace expresses itself in our lives, we come unglued because we know how much we need that to show up in our lives. The wonderful news is that this is God's promise to us. God's promise to us is that He is full of mercy and grace and that He overflows with love. His grace is unfathomable. And that's a promise that you can take to the bank. Let me just quickly pray. Father, thank you for your grace and mercy in our lives. We need it. Thank you that you do not treat us as our lives deserve, but you treat us with grace and mercy. 
and help us to praise you for that and understand that fully. I pray in Jesus' name, amen. Well, have yourselves a great day today. Bye-bye.